Screw you, Taylor Swift. <laughs> That's how I would like to begin. <laughs> but she says the reason she's voting for Kamala Harris is because of Tim Walz's LGB stance. Do you know what Tim Walz has done on the LGB front? Well, here's what's going to happen. A, a little girl is going to find herself down a rabbit hole on Reddit. Reddit and she's going to go to a judge in Minnesota, and because of Tim Walz, the court will take custody of her, use the Medicaid funds in Minnesota to provide her all of those things. And when this girl inevitably comes to the conclusion that she didn't want any of this, that it only added to her problems, which were the divorce and the acne and the puberty and not any trans issue, who is she gonna go to then? This is all because of Tim Walz. That's what Minnesota is doing right now to little girls and boys, taking custody away from the parents so that they can have these procedures without any loving parents there to help and that's what Taylor Swift just endorsed for your children so screw you Taylor Swift thank you for saying that yes what a time to be alive if someone told me at this time I'll be reporting videos about Taylor Swift I would say it's a lie the kind of backlash I've seen on social media partaking to this lady is extremely concerning Trump throws Taylor Swift with mock era thought t shirt this after she endorsed Harris for president. Her response These celebrity endorsements within politics, they're getting a little exhausting, don't you think? If you're taking political advice from billionaire pop stars that are completely out of touch with reality and have not experienced a single ounce of financial instability, that's a little troubling. Taylor Swift, she can afford to endorse Kamala Harris because she's a billionaire. The rest of us, we've got bills to pay. Her career is singing about choosing the wrong person. So I'd just be a little careful with listening to that one. Now she can endorse whoever she wants. I don't really care what she does, but her opinions and her voting choices, they're completely irrelevant to me. She doesn't pay for my gas, my groceries, my housing. These celebrities will not be materially affected by this election no matter which way it goes. You have nothing in common with these people. Half of these elitist celebrities who have the luxury of voting based off of vibes and emotions are only doing so to protect their brand. So you can love their music, you can enjoy them as entertainers, but let's not act like they are A-plus political activists that have any idea or any knowledge on the real world because they don't even live in the real world. And they'll never know what it's like to experience the effects of the things that they advocate for. Voting Donald Trump, baby. Voting Donald Trump, baby. Voting Donald Trump, baby. Voting Donald Trump, baby. Yes, if I'm a celebrity, I will never involve in politics because you have people from different political views, you know, enjoy your music. You will know their real minds when you take a decision or side with another person. Taking a look at Taylor Swift, I don't know if we actually advise her, though a lot of influencers are telling me like she has been paid to do that. A lot of people don't understand why Taylor Swift fans are angry. The kind of reason she outlined endorsing Kamala is their concern. You cannot tell me it's because of Tim Ward's support for LGBT rights, things like that. You know, it was just not okay. I don't understand the kind of research she did to put out that communique. She could have, you know, mix it up with some kind of policy stand, maybe to convince some people. If you look at all the videos on social media right now, they all say the same thing. The kind of reason she used to endorse her totally ridiculous. Now, in the past, Taylor Swift was. <laughs> She was always in the same box with Brittany Mahomes. <laughs> and now, they can't sit in the same box. <laughs> I guess because Brittany liked some of Trump's tweets and Taylor's for Kamala. Don't you think partisanship has gone too far? Yes, but not for that reason, but I do. Guys, I never saw this on my 2024 bingo card, but the Swifties are waking up. The Swifties. I never thought I'd see the day that Swifties were rallying for Trump. 
I guess something with ISIS happened. You take a look at this tweet, Trump made it clear I'm not a fan of Taylor Swift. I kind of like this other lady. This lady came on social media after a little backlash. Oh, I stand with Trump. I don't just look at what others are doing. You know, these are people like Bima is stating here. They used to be together, but I don't see it a problem. Supporting someone should divide you. You can be in a family with someone and you should have different political views. So I don't get the point why politics is struggling to divide people here. Okay, so um, Donald Trump and Kamala Harris had their, had their uh, debate last night, okay? Yeah. And uh, Taylor Swift said she endorses Kamala Harris and... Uh, her running mate, Tim Waltz. And Tim Waltz uh, is a strong advocate for abortions babies. So Taylor Swift endorsed them, says she's voting for them. Even though she has millions of fans that are kids. Yeah. So guess what we're never going to play or listen to in this house? Taylor Swift. And does that hurt your feelings? No. Not at all. Yeah. Wow. Something, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. I want to say this. If you are watching me for the very first time, you will realize I always make this video short. I don't like to prolong it. I could make it 20, 30 minutes, but I don't like it. Now is the time for you to take a good decision to choose a good leader. I put videos daily. I see how people put out clips complaining how their life is not going. Things are hard. Inflation, you know, reasons like this. It is high time for you to see it. Compare these people. Compare Trump administration when he was there. Compare the Biden administration. And even compare what Kamala Harris can do. We know she has been there for four years. If she could not do it, then will you, will she continue? Oh, she will just copy what Biden is doing and proceed because it's, they are the same people. So it is high time for you to take a good decision that will make your future to be great. That is what I can tell you. I don't always like to give opinions to elderly people, but when I see this, Every single day, people falling for some kind of small, small reasons. It makes me feel sad. It is time to be awake. Rise up. And apparently, this has upset many snowflakes. <laughs> the Republicans are not happy that Taylor Swift is, in, is endorsing Harris. We admire Taylor Swift's music, but I don't think most Americans, whether they like her music or fans of hers or not, are going to be influenced by a billionaire celebrity who I think is fundamentally disconnected from the interests uh, and, and, and the problems of most Americans. Look Please register to vote for something else that's very important for the presidential election. Taylor Swift using her moment on stage at the VMAs to call on voters to register young voters, especially. Uh, this data guru actually reviews something after Taylor Swift endorsement. You go back four years ago at this point. Look, Joe Biden had a 28 point advantage. Kamala Harris has improved on Joe Biden standing. But look at this. She's only up by 15 points. That is significantly less. Really? Wake up, people. Some lunatic dropped a note in my personal mailbox outside of my house begging me not to boycott Taylor Swift. Uh, <laughs> Trump has come in the spin room, just so you know. That has happened. Newly reported by NBC News, Vice President Kamala Harris has spoken recently and repeatedly with former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton. You could not do in four years. It is insane to think that... You really want Trump to lose this election, right? No, uh, no, no. you don't, no. really? So that debate was a bunch of BS. Well, my friends, Kamala Harris deserves an Academy Award for gaslighting, deflecting. Bruh. <laughs> did you watch the debate? Of course you did. Did Kamala Harris move the needle? Of course she didn't. We still have to have a controlled border, a secure border. 
When I first heard that we were abandoning or we were withdrawing from Afghanistan. And when facts come to facts, my life was better when Trump was in office. The spotlight next week, which is the economy. We've got